Mr. President. Senator from New Hampshire. Mr. President, um, I rise today um, in support of what, frankly, is an egregious example of why folks get very frustrated with Washington and what happens here. And that is uh, what has been described as one of Washington's most wasteful programs, the duplicative USDA catfish inspection program, uh, which was uh, slipped in the Farm Bill in 2008. And Mr. President, all other fish, all other fish species are inspected not by USDA, but are inspected in this country by the FDA. Yet added to the 2008 Farm Bill uh, was a provision to create a special office within the USDA for the one species of catfish. Uh, we know they're bottom dwellers, but uh, this was really something that was done um, to protect uh, domestic catfish producers, and it was really something that is wasting taxpayer dollars. In fact, there have been 10 GAO reports, 10 of them, each finding that this inspection regime, set up specially for catfish, but no other fish species, is duplicative and a waste, waste of taxpayer dollars. In fact, uh, the good government groups like Citizens Against Government Waste, Taxpayers for Common Sense, the National Taxpayers Union, and many of the other groups that my colleague, Senator McCain, cited on the floor that are supporting um, the resolution to disapprove this duplicative rule have called this program one of the most demonstrably wasteful and duplicative programs ever, ever created. And boy, in Washington, that says a lot to call something one of the most demonstrably wasteful and duplicative programs ever created. These groups have written that the GAO also notes that it not only wastes taxpayer dollars and duplica duplicates work already done by the FDA, but it actually weakens rather than strengthens our food safety systems. The agency's proposed catfish inspection program further fragments federal oversight over our system for food safety without demonstrating that there is a problem with catfish or a need for a new federal program. And with all respect, I heard my colleague from Mississippi on the floor uh, citing the findings uh, most recently by the newly stood up USDA office for the inspection of catfish, talking about harmful contaminants uh, that the USDA intercepted in catfish. There's some facts that are conveniently missing from this argument. First of all, the FDA, when they were inspecting catfish, like they inspect all other fish in the country, they also were able to intercept times when there were contaminants found not only in catfish, but obviously sometimes in other fish species. So the notion that the FDA couldn't find these very same contaminants, well, guess what, folks? They did, um, just like they do every day when they're looking at ensuring that all of our fish species are appropriate for our public health and for us to consume. And one of the interesting things about it is not only would the FDA find this in the catfish coming from overseas, but they've actually intercepted contaminants in the domestic catfish supply at times as well, too. Um, so that's important, I think, for people to understand. So this notion that somehow we need to set up a special program within the USDA for just catfish uh, because that is the only way we can find contaminants and protect the public health. Well, apparently the FDA is able to do it for every other spe spe fish species, was able to do it before 2008, and um, yet we now have a se separate office for the catfish which, by the way, uh, the GAO found it cost us nearly $20 million extra to set up this special office uh, to inspect catfish for the one, one species. And in fact, um, 
My colleague from Mississippi serves on the budget committee as I do, um, and he mentioned on the floor the fact that there's uh, the CBO has said that there's not going to be additional spending on this, but one thing that's important for people to understand, and those of us that serve on the budget committee would understand this, what came from the budget committee is that there's no additional mandatory spending. Well, that means mandatory spending that is already set aside in the budget. We, we separate spending in the federal government from mandatory versus discretionary spending. And guess what? Yeah, there isn't mandatory spending on this. But conveniently, what has been left out is that there absolutely is discretionary spending on this program. In fact, GAO has found not only that it cost $20 million to set up this new inspection regime, but they have estimated that it costs $14 million a year in discretionary spending uh, to run this new inspection regime for catfish. So uh, I just want to make sure that people understand for the record that this budget opinion that's being cited is really meaningless because it's saying there's no mandatory spending. Well, guess what? I could come to the floor on almost any kind of domestic spending, um, whether it's uh, on an issue of a DOD on a weapon system or anything that we're talking about here and tell you we're not spending any mandatory spending on this and the Budget Committee would issue the same opinion. But what really matters is are we spending any taxpayer dollars? And the answer at the end of the day is absolutely. Because those dollars that go to the USDA or to the FDA are actually in discretionary spending. Um, so I hope my colleagues that are listening to this understand that this budget opinion really means nothing. We're still spending taxpayer dollars that matter to you and yet matter to me. And we could spend these millions of dollars much more effectively elsewhere than on a duplicative program for catfish. In fact, uh, former FDA safety chief uh, David Ackeson commented on this duplicative program in this way. He called it, this program is everything that is wrong with food safety system. It's food politics. It's not public health. And for all the claims that have been made on this floor about somehow we need to set up a, a separate inspection re regime uh, for catfish, uh, this, the USDA itself has said, in their own words, the true effectiveness of the FSIS inspection for reducing catfish-associated human illnesses is unknown. This is the USDA itself, unknown. Also, the rate at which FSIS inspection will achieve its ultimate reductions, unknown. There's substantial uncertainty regarding the actual effectiveness of an FSIS, meaning the USDA inspection regime, of the catfish inspection program. Not very promising when we already had an inspection regime in place, as we do for every other fish species under the FDA that cost us roughly $700,000 a year, according to the GAO reports. And now, under what we have done with the duplicative inspection regime on the USDA, it cost us $20 million, roughly, to build a new inspection regime, new infrastructure in a different agency, and then roughly $14 million, according to the GAO. And we just confirmed, again, could they confirm the numbers that are being cited of it's only a million and a half a year? No, they can't confirm those numbers. Um, and so 10 GAO reports finding duplicative and wasteful spending, and yet here we are. Um, I was really shocked, actually, by the vote on the Senate floor. Very shocked that my colleagues would have 10 GAO reports in front of them that would say that this is a duplicative and wasteful program, that they would have before them a situation where you already have every other fish species investigated, excuse me, um, inspected by the FDA, and yet we're going to set up a separate office for catfish uh, on 
a situation where almost every good government group that focuses on addressing wasteful spending in Washington has called this duplicative program egregious and really cited this as an example of what's wrong uh, when we're, we're worried about taxpayer dollars and what happens in Washington. And so I would hope, as I look at the votes on the Senate floor, uh, to proceed to this bill, that my colleagues would look at these GAO reports, that my colleagues would listen to these good government uh, organizations that have basically said that this program is really a waste of taxpayer dollars and that they would support the resolution to disapprove this duplicative inspection program. You know, before 2008, the FDA was inspecting catfish and they were doing their jobs uh, just like they do with every other fish species and they can continue to do that rather than have a entire separate uh, program just to inspect one fish species under the USDA. And by the way, the focus of the USDA is actually on meat and poultry. They don't regulate any other fish. They don't have fish experts like the FDA, and that's one of the reasons it costs so much more to set up this new, new program. You know, one of the things I hear from my constituents, and I understand, I mean, there's a lot of talk about why people are frustrated with Washington, right? They're very frustrated with um, they want to make sure that their taxpayer dollars are spent wisely, that my constituents complain to me about wasteful spending, duplicative programs, and yet here we have such an obvious example. And as I look at what we have pending on the Senate floor, if we don't pass this resolution of, of disapproval for this duplicative program, where so many groups are saying, we've looked at this, it's wasteful, it's duplicative, where we have 10 years of GAO reports that have said, duplicative, wasteful, you don't need a separate inspection regime for catfish, um, then I, I don't know how we're ever going to address $19 trillion in debt. I don't know how we're ever going to take on the big, big issues burning that the American people want us to. And I know there's been a lot of bad things said about Congress, and I personally think that, you know, we might be called bottom dwellers if we don't pass this one. And so I'm hoping uh, that as we look at the duplicative program of catfish inspections, we will understand that uh, the catfish, one fish species, does not deserve a separate office just to look at the catfish, that the FDA can handle this inspection like it does for every other fish species, that we could save millions of taxpayer dollars by doing this, and we can let the American people know that we get it, that we get it, that we want to wisely spend their money, we want to eliminate wasteful spending, we want to get our fiscal house in order, we want good government, we don't want protectionism government that is just uh, trying to protect one industry, crony capitalism, all the bad things. What we want is we want common sense. So I hope that my colleagues will join me, and I want to thank Senators McCain and Senator Shaheen for their efforts in helping us bring uh, this important resolution for disapproval forward. And I hope that we can take a small step forward in this body for good government, for eliminating wasteful spending, for eliminating dupl duplicative programs, and to tell the American people we're not bottom dwellers. We, we really get it, and we want to make sure that we do the right thing by them. Thank you, Mr. President.